Hey there, what's up guys? Your boy Enrique, PRG Real Estate, and I'm bringing you another episode of Commission Only. And today we are gonna talk about, should you join a real estate team? So guys, many of you know that I run a real estate team. Um, so I'm gonna try to make this talk as unbiased as possible. And really, I just wanted to discuss the pros and cons of joining a real estate team. Uh, after being in the business for about 16 years uh, and, and running different variations of a team, guys, I've seen it all. And it's, uh, there's a lot of pros, there's a lot of cons. So I just wanted to kind of open up the conversation to that and share kind of what I've learned. So let's start off with a couple of the pros, guys. So if you're an agent, whether you're a brand new agent or you're you know, years into your career and you're considering joining the team, you gotta really think about why you wanna join the team, right? What are you looking to get out of that team and what can that team provide for you? So some of the benefits that I've seen from joining a team, uh, probably one of the biggest ones is gonna be opportunity. By you joining a team, uh, hopefully the team is providing you with leads, maybe some uh, referral business that comes in, maybe opportunities to host the open houses for the teams. Uh, I know on our team we provide leads, appointments and stuff like that for our agents. So it really creates a consistent amount of opportunity for the agents on my team. They're not always having to wonder where's my next deal going to come from because there are leads coming in. Um, the next thing is there's going to be a lot of structure and accountability depending on how the team is ran. So um, there's going to be someone, you know, hopefully the team leader is on you, you know, pushing you to excel at the highest level possible. Uh, so there might be a schedule you have to follow. There might be a certain amount of things you have to track um, with the intention of kind of pushing you and getting the most out of you. Um, another one of the, the pros that I see of joining a real estate team is that you're not going at it alone. Um, there's other teammates, you know, who are going to be there to support you. There's a lot of mentorship, maybe from the leader. Uh, and so you don't have to feel like you're really at this alone, even though you're self-employed at the end of the day. You have other people who are kind of going in the same direction with you. Uh, and that can really help, guys, because the businesses can be up and down. There's seasonality within real estate. Um, so the times when you're maybe down and your team is there to pick you up, that can be real, really beneficial. Um, the last thing I would probably say is going to be there's a lot less risk when you're joining a team, right? Um, because a lot of times the team is, is covering a lot of the marketing costs, the expenses. They're providing maybe some level of admin support, uh, different resources. So you're not really having to fork out a lot of your own dollars. So if things don't go right, it, it falls back a lot of times on the team leader um, or the person paying for those costs. Um, and with all of these opportunities and stuff that I discussed, that can fast track you to success. That can get you to closing more deals a lot faster and really fast track you to a, a, the next level in your real estate career. So that's all the good stuff, right? Um, you know, sharing my experience on the team. Now let's talk about some of the cons. Because uh, there's definitely some cons and, and being on a team is not for everyone. I would say one of the biggest cons, um, which was a pro for joining a team, but it can also be a con, is the structure and accountability. If you're the type of person that kind of wants to come in whenever they want or kind of wants to run their own, you know, run the business their own way, uh, a team is not necessarily going to allow that for you. There's probably a lot more structure and accountability. So if you don't want someone checking in on you or, or pushing you and you kind of want to go at your own pace, a team may not be for you. Um, the next thing is commission splits, right? It's all about the dollars. Um, being on a team, you might have a lower commission split uh, than if you were to go do something on your own and cover all the expenses. You might you know, have a higher split. So you really got to weigh out, you know, am I walking away with more net profit at the end of the day at a higher split? But I would say that's definitely a pro. You can you know, go get a higher commission split on your own, but you do take on some of those expenses. So... Um, the last thing I would say for being on a team that can be looked at as a, as a con, so to say, um, would be there's the less, less control that you're going to have, right? Usually the team has their own way of marketing. They have their own way of branding. They're kind of running the, the team a certain way and everyone's going in run direction. But if you want to do a completely different marketing plan or you want to run your business a completely different way, the team may not allow you to do that. You may be kind of confined to how the team is already running. Uh, so guys, you know, in summary, there's a lot of pros and cons. Being on a team, like I said, is not for everyone. You know, I know agents on both sides of the spectrum. I know agents who are solo agents. Uh, maybe they have a, a smaller level of team, maybe an assistant, or maybe they're doing everything on their own, but they're doing very, very well. They've got the systems figured out. 
they understand the marketing, they, they have good business practices, and they're making a lot of money and closing a lot of transactions. I also know on the flip side of the coin, even agents on my team and other teams that I know of that are doing very well is also because they're taking advantage of all the resources that the team provides. Um, the next thing is that I just want to really point out and stress that either way, whether you join a team or you go at this alone, it's going to be challenging at the end of the day. Uh, joining the team is not the magic pill where I join a team all of a sudden I'm, I'm closing deals left and right. You got to work hard. You got to, you know, bust your tail. You got to put in the time and the effort and you have to be, you know, on that same vision, you know, with, with your team. Um, they, there's a saying that real estate is very simple. You know, there's, there's a few things that you have to do, but it's really hard to pull off, right? Because there's, there's all the intricacies of a real estate transaction and dealing with clients and all the moving parts. So, in summary, guys, uh, I just really wanted to point out kind of my perspective from running a team and seeing people succeed and even fail. Uh, and hopefully that offers you know some advice to you and, and you can take that in mind if you're considering joining a team or considering going at this alone. If you are in that phase where you know you're not sure if joining a team is right for you, or maybe you even want to start a team and you don't know, you know, what you should be looking out for, uh, feel free to reach out. You know, I'd be more than happy to help or give you some advice. Um, and take it from there guys. So I hope this message finds you well. Hope you get some value out of this until next time Commission only guys. Peace